hello everyone and welcome to this session this video is going to be a very uh, quick uh, session on how to install java on windows and we will be going uh, very basics step by step so let's start and step one will be check if java is already installed okay so to check this if java is already installed you have to go to your command prompt and you have to say java space hyphen version so i am going to my command prompt here on my windows so let me go to my command prompt and if i say java space hyphen version and say enter it is saying java is not recognized as an internal external command this is because either java is not installed or it is not set in the environment variables so let us see how do we install java so let's suppose java is not installed on your system as well and you got the same message so we go to step number two which is download java from the internet okay so you go to your browser and uh, I'm, I'm going to Google and just say download Java and uh, you will get some results and I'm just going to this Oracle uh, site and here uh, you can see all these versions right so I'm going to this section where I have all these you know downloadable files for Java okay you have to uh, first say accept license agreement you have to accept these conditions and then you have to choose the version that you want to download so I'm going to download Windows x64 so just click on this executable file and just or your download will start uh, as of now I am going to cancel this download because I already have downloaded it earlier and I am I'll go to my downloads folder where I have already downloaded this uh, Java executable file and I'll double click on it so you have to now execute this right so the step will be once you have downloaded step number three is run the java exe executable right so here i am running my java executable file and it will be a window which will take you through the installation process you just have to do next again next and it will uh, start downloading and installing java on your system so it will take a couple of seconds let it install it and i believe it is all green it is all done okay so it's asking me the uh, destination folder so it is going to install on c program files which is okay i click on next and now it is uh, installing java into c program files on my system okay it's it's going to take a couple of seconds it's uh, usually quite fast will not take a lot of time okay so now it is successfully installed you got get this message so i'm just closing this okay now i have run the java exe so java is installed on my system right so let me go to my command prompt and check again if java is installed again i say java space hyphen version and enter but still it is saying java is not recognized as an internal or external command so what is missing is i have to set the environment variables as well okay so step number four is setting 
environment variables sorry for the typo okay so how do you set the environment variables you have to go to your environment variables and there are uh, various ways of going there what I am going to do is I am going to go to my computer this will be your my computer I'll right click go to properties and here go to advanced system settings and here in the system properties windows you can see environment variables I click there and now I have come to my environment variables so you have to set the Java home here so first you will search if Java home is already there if not you if it's already there you have to just edit it if not you have to go to new and say Java underscore home and the value that you have to give is the folder location where your Java is, is installed right so mine in my case Java is in C and uh, program files and it's Java JDK 18091 okay so I'm uh, going to take this location I'm just going to copy this and into my Java home I'll paste this and say okay so uh, my Java home is now uh, added what I have to do one more step is I have to go to my path variable and go to edit now be very careful do not uh, erase whatever is already there you just have to go to the end place a semicolon and then add the location of your on your system where your java jdk bin is there so my java jdk bin is here okay inside it was the same location and inside there will be a bin folder so this is uh, this location that i'm going to inside my jdk this is the bin folder so i'm uh, entering this value there so again I go to my system properties and here I have given the uh, location of my Java bin folder now this this part okay before the bin directory this part we have already given as Java home so there is one more way to give this I can just refer it from there what you have to do is percentage and the variable name that was Java underscore home and again percentage and then slash bin so what I am going to uh, tell the system is take this location same as whatever is there in Java home and then you have to go to the bin folder okay so by this I am making sure that whenever I make any change to my Java home here the Java home variable I do not have to change my uh, path again because it will be referring from here okay so I say okay and again okay now if I go to my command prompt and I again say java space hyphen version and enter it is again see it's showing java is not recognized as an internal external command but now we have installed java and we have also set the environment variables so why is it not uh, recognizing is because this command prompt this window we have opened and it is uh, still maintaining the older session so we will exit it from here okay so uh, let me also write it here the last step is which is step number five check if java is installed and available for use so again you have to go to your command prompt start a new session and now again I'll write java space hyphen version 
okay and now you can see it is showing you the java version and the other message so if you get this message that means java is now installed and it's ready to be used okay hope you liked it thank you